so much going for them and nobody knows about them. And I think that it has to do with you selling yourself. You have to sell the wine. And when you get there, you know, if at the end of the day, when somebody here comes to the table, if he doesn't recommend your wine, people aren't going to know it. Especially when it comes to French wines and champagne. You know, they have to be passionate about passionate about your wine. And when they go there, they got to be like, hey, this guy is so cool. I met him. He makes the best wine in the world. It's not super expensive, but it's phenomenal. Buy this wine now. And they'll be like, wow, I will buy that wine right now. It sounds great. You know? And when they buy it, they're going to drink it, and, you know, it speaks for itself. But if it never gets into the glass, then they're never going to know what it is. And that's what it's all about, you know, especially in this world, in the restaurant world. You know, it's a, you know, because you don't, unfortunately, you can't meet every single person I sell your bottle to. Yeah. You know, in a perfect world, I'm sure that's how it would be, and you'd be selling it all yourself. But, you know, you have to meet with me, and you have to be so awesome that I talk about you. And that's what it's all about, you know. It's about personal relationships. It's about relationships between people and passing that relationship down. Anytime I meet a winemaker and they're cool, I always tell the story about how I met them to my guests. I'm like, hey, man, I was hanging out with this person. We drank some wine. He was super cool. You know, we, we drank the wine and it was great and, you know, da da da, whatever. You know, but if I meet this guy and, you know, he's not cool or he's a prick or whatever, I'm like, yeah, you don't want that one. <laughs> you know, you want this other one. And, you know, it, it's so much about that, especially when it comes to, you know, French wines, you know, old world wines in general, but especially champagne. People don't know champagne. People know Dom Perignon, Cristal, Bufico. Hey, they don't know you know, and that's all they know. It's all about the growers. Yeah, mm. and I mean, it is all about the growers. And once you get the wine in the glass, it's going to speak for itself. You know, I mean, if you make a great wine, people are going to love it. But it's about getting it in the glass. It's about you know selling it to that person. And that's where I think that you know, you ask me, you know, what what can I do? You know, what can I do to be more trendy? You don't need to be trendy. Screw that. Don't be trendy. You know, you could have a cool looking label. Where, you know, if someone sees it, they're like, wow, that label looks cool, you know, I want to buy that. But that's not, those aren't the people that you want drinking your wine. You want the people that are passionate about wine. You want the people that you love to enjoy it. But how do you get those people? You have to get someone to turn them on to it. You know, and that's what I think is the biggest deal. You can't, you know, it's not like, oh, I'm going to put... shut the fuck up with you, man. <laughs> 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 oh, 